Good afternoon. Welcome to Monthly's World of Weather. You clicked on to long range weather forecast discussion for May 22nd through June 5th. Um, for May 22nd to the 26th, the eastern trough here lifts out and transitions more to a zone of flow with above normal heights across much of the country. And we have a trough here across Greenland. And the western ridge will also slide a little bit further eastward into the plains. Now, um, we have a slow-moving uh, trough and surface feature near the southeast coast. It's expected to be um, the focus for moderate heavy rain and convection. And that will be later on in the week. We'll take a look at that at the surface. You see the system down there across the southeast. Then we go eastward. We got Wednesday, Thursday. Friday. And then um, it could spread uh, moisture up the east coast. It could be heavy rain. Now, um, this is the area that doesn't need much. I mean, that needs rain for agricultural because of the first couple of inches. It's been quite dry here in the um, northeast, especially on the mid-Atlantic. But the first dry and windy conditions, but the first couple of inches of soil dries out very quickly. And we'll take a look at, um, let me see, what do I want to look at? Okay, we're going to take a look at the, uh, the soil moisture. And you can see it's very moist here across this area and even along the west coast. But this is an area that has um, been getting rain. Now, if you look at the drought monitor, it has some areas that are abnormally dry, and there's been fire watches and warning uh, fire watches up here across Connecticut and parts of New Jersey. But still, um, I don't know. This might be updated. This might become yellow too in New Jersey because we've been quite dry so far. Less than an inch of rain has fallen um, midway through the month. So. Um, we couldn't use the rain, and then we can't. You, can, you know, we need the first couple of inches, but this could spread heavy rainfall up to the northeast. Now, um, excuse me, uh, the ridge in the west will cause, um, west moving into the plains will cause above normal temperatures with anomalies of 15 to 20 degrees above normal early next week. And moisture under the upper ridge Let's go to there. We'll call scatter storms at times with the monsoonal flow going on. Okay. Uh, we're going to look now at the period for May 27th to the 31st. And the flow with the above normal heights is forecast across the nation is on a flow. And a weakness still here across the southeast. So uh, the model's a good agreement with that. So for this forecast period, I'm calling for map didn't change. Okay, calling for above normal temperatures here, and I'm calling anomalies as high as 20 degrees above normal mainly across this area here, below normal temperatures forecast here due to below normal heights and rainfall, with the anomalies at two to four degrees, maybe closer to two degrees below normal for precipitation calling for below normal precipitation here and here, probability of occurrence near 35%. And then we have above normal precipitation here. And for this region, probability of occurrence is near 40%. Looking at the period for June 1st to the 5th, a little overall change. Now all the models, since just they have changed, only a couple of models will bring the trough in, but it looks like uh, it's more more of troughing is taking place across um, the west. You can see on the, put the map in motion, and with the zone of flow across uh, the northern Rockies to Atlantic coast, with above normal heights. So for this forecast period, I'm calling for a little change in the temperature anomalies. And for precipitation, calling for below normal precipitation for much of this region here, probability of occurrence is 35 to 40 percent. 
And um, if you look at the system, let me just go back a little bit. If you look at the system here off the southeast coast, come Thursday, Friday, could this be a closed circulation of something developing tropical? This is the area where tropical uh, systems can form in the month of June. So uh, we have to keep an eye on that. But uh, it's almost like a nor'easter type of thing, but it'll be closely monitored as um, we get closer to the situation. That's it for now. That's the long range weather forecast discussion for May 22nd through June 5th. Thanks for coming to Jim Munley's World of Weather and have a good day.